ready. Today is Wednesday, August the 29th. Yes, National Black Business Month. Welcome, welcome to the show. Let's talk business with Cheryl J. Cousseau. I am here in In Touch News, In Touch News Radio Studio. And I'm here with my co-host. Hello. Woo, woo. Oh, hello. And, and that is, we're going to call her El Diva. Say hello to our Facebook family. Hello, Facebook family. So, she, oh, somebody said hello. So, oh, someone talking to me? <laughs> So, hey, hey, welcome. Say hello. And to our special guest, Mrs. Felicia Morris. <laughs> Woohoo! Welcome. Hello, so hello, hello, in. hello. Happy to be here. So, we've been shouting out black owned businesses all month long in celebration of National Black Business Month. And so, I'm so honored to be sitting here with two. Phenomenal business women here, and their businesses complement each other. Wow. So, you all, we have Queen Diva in the house. So, El Diva here talks to us about fashion, and you know she's the fashionista. I mean, look how she came in. <laughs> <laughs> this is how she comes to work, y'all, because that's her brand, and we've talked right. about that many, many times. We've talked about it on the show. We love having Diva J here, and she always talked to us about when we we're coming in, making that statement, and voila. You're making that statement today with this beautiful, beautiful, um, I love the layered ruffle look, this beautiful pink accented with, oh my gosh, look at that necklace. It is beautiful. Yes, a rhinestone collar statement necklace. <laughs> oh, did y'all get that? A rhinestone oh, collar. Right. It looked like it can also be a protective weapon if a woman oh, ever, yeah. if a woman ever needed one. And um, when you're looking so good like that, somebody just wants to come on over. So she's going to be talking to us today about about um, just fashion, but more importantly about what's happening this weekend. This is the culmination. We're at about seventy two plus hours now, when um, we have invited the community to come out on the five five zero eight campus. Our sponsors, the Thap Group making sure that the culmination of National Black Business Month is in support of our Black-owned businesses. Yes. So we'll be on the campus on Saturday, August the 31st at 1131. 1131, yes. Now you can tell us about what our guests, attendees, visitors for the first time can expect coming down your line. Okay. Well, El Diva Couture Boutique, you know, we're always excited to be here at FAP and participating. And this Saturday is so very important because it's it is. August um, Black National Black Business Month. Absolutely. And um, we're going to have a lot of $31 specials. Oh, love yes. it, love it, love it. See, one of our 31 vendors coming in with $31 specials. Yes, yes. And you know how we do it. We're classy, sassy, and <laughs> the word is out. Yes, the word is out. I love it. I love it. So hot for this season is a lot of tie dye. Okay. So we're going to bring some of our tie dye fashions. Um, of course, we're going to bring our blingy T-shirts that we always bring. Oh, those oh, rhinestone oh, oh. T-shirts. We need some inspiration, of yes, course, right? And then, of course, we're going to bring all of our beautiful jewelry, our statement jewelry. We also now have some beaded um, necklaces that are um, oh. almost like an African um, um, style design. design. Okay, yeah. so. I saw um, on your fa page, and you do an update when your new fashions come out, and you've right. got some exciting pieces like this jumpsuit, this this jumpsuit that's kind of asymmetrical, and it tees in the front and in the back and, and up top. Oh yes, definitely. Yeah. Now, is that the um, is it a tie dye one? We. You've got them both. You had them in solids, and you may have had a tie-dye as well. But I was looking at all of the different fashions coming through and thinking, oh, we'll get to see all of this Yes, yes on yes. Saturday. Yes. We always bring, a, you know, our First Lady collection. We bring some dresses for that as well. And then what's new and hot, which is the tie-dye. So we'll bring some tie-dye. Okay. And then, of course, we'll bring some of our handbags and uh, our jewelry. So we are really, really excited. Really um, excited. So that's going to also include um, First Lady Michelle Obama. 
Uh, yeah. That's always a fight. I remember at the last <laughs> at the last event, women tend to want to come and they all want that bag. You just can never have enough, huh? Right. Yeah. That's really, really, really hot. And yeah, our first lady. I mean, we gotta have her. We gotta represent. Absolutely. We always gotta remember. So yeah, that's one of the handbags that we always bring with us. Awesome. Yes. Awesome. So she's telling you about what's coming down on Saturday. What I heard was. Items for $31. So all month long, we've been saying 31 ways. We've been giving you 31 ways. 31 days. We've got 72 hours to go. Spend $31 your way. You get to pick the business where you want to spend your $31. Yes. So as we listen to Aldiva talk to us about fashion and some of the fashions that she's going to bring to us, some you'll be seeing for the very, very first time. We have a business owner, and it's a family-owned business, and I love the way Miss Felicia Murray, you have set your business up, and I really have to shout my sister out. And by the way, Sandra, happy, uh, um, what is that, 50-something birthday? (laughs) (laughs) Happy, 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 happy belated birthday, Sandra Cuso who found you absolutely (laughs) and so she was so excited um about you and about your business and why don't you tell our radio listening audience and our camera is our main camera is there and i need you to come on into this microphone miss felicia and tell us about how you got started actually it was an accident we seen an ad in the paper and it was actually my husband wanting to come back to Tampa he worked out of town and so we looked at the paper and he goes babe look at this this looks interesting I called and I gave her my background and she was ecstatic like and I was still more like I don't know if I really want to do that you know I was more doing housekeeping Mm -hmm. I ran my own housekeeping uh, department so we checked it out and we and I, I absolutely loved it I loved everything about it it was helping people and uh everything about it was just basically doing laundry it's not as hard as it, it seems as but hard. i absolutely love doing it oh we don't hear that too often i do <laughs> i do no, I <laughs> but it's so very important right we have to have clean clothes we have to have clean clothes yeah. i enjoy it i enjoy doing it. it was something i shared with my mom a passion that my mom had about it and i still do it i'm right. still a presser right and and my husband has purchased all kind of pressing gadgets in our home right because he he was in that era dj ceo where the the jeans had to be pressed <laughs> right his shirts had to okay. be yeah. no, yeah. starts yeah. start <laughs> and start. 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 line down the middle right right yes. <laughs> yeah absolutely as a matter of fact that stuff is purchased from um Sam's uh, three in a container. Oh, wow. <laughs> I use that. I do because I do iron. So I have an appreciation for 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 what you do, and and that's very very special because um um if you're if you're married to a guy like I am, he loves to 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 dress. He loves for his clothes to to look a certain mm-hmm. way, and the suits mm-hmm. have to be just right. Mm-hmm. And um and and I love that about him. But he will press my my stuff in a heartbeat. Right. Wow. <laughs> You know, Special he's a man. he's a better presser. Yeah. <laughs> he's, just, he's just a better presser. And if it's a gadget out there for pressing the little mini ironing boards, the one where you slide the clothes on, yeah. my husband has it. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> wow! I'm a little Sorry. more old school. I throw all that I, that ironing board out there, and I get down on that ironing board. Well, girl, I'm saying anything, girl. I got an ironing board in my office. <laughs> Everybody prepared. Everybody prepared. Definitely. I'm real old school. You'll find some spray starch up in there too. I got that too. I can I can start you right on up. (laughs) It's my favorite part is when people. It's it's simple, but it's my favorite part when people can walk in and they walk out with clean, fresh clothes. Yes. That makes me happy. Wow. That makes, yes. <laughs> that makes me happy. You're making me excited just hearing you talk about it. <laughs> and so you are so you started out um, in management. I did. As a, as a supervisor for a company, and you ran a, a team. I of, did. Tell us a little bit about what you did when, when you were managing the supervisory department. Well, I started out actually as a housekeeper, making like okay. seven forty five an hour. Wow. And within that year, I was running the whole department. Wow. Woo-hoo! Yeah. I, I kind of came in and, and took over, and I loved it. I, I didn't think I had it in me, but mm. I, did, I loved being in charge. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that I leader in you. I, yeah. do. I, lo- I loved it. And then we came back here, and we just kind of fell into this. 
and I'm still in charge, and I still love that, but I love everything about it. Absolutely. Wow. So tell us, tell us first of all, tell us where you are, the name of your business, because I wanted you to do the introduction of your business. I know the name of your business, and we know that you've got a special open house coming up, wow. and we can't wait to, to be able to support you. Right. You're on this platform now. Right. This station is here right here on the campus of 550. And that's all we do, GJCG. We shout out businesses all day long. All day long, all the we time. We have a platform for them to advertise their business. Absolutely. I'm print, he's print, right, and right. as well, mm-hmm. online. online. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. Wow. Yes. So right. if that's your awesome. business is out there, and if you are a business owner, and we'll, we'll be launching those 31-day packages, because the National Black Business Month is celebrated for the month, but a dear friend, um, um, Felicia Wintons, who said mm. Black History oh, Month yeah. is every month. Every month. Every and month. we need we to remember Felicia. that. Yeah. We do miss Felicia. We a do. dear, dear friend. And so when we're celebrating National Black Business Month, it's great to have that time mm. in order to be able to do it. But we as a community, that's what we need to do. My son sent me a flyer of DJ, DJ CEO, and I might just post it. He took those 31s and just made a big old 31 and said, if 3,100 people, mm. which was my challenge mm. on the flyer all along, oh, but wow. he bolded it. If 3,100 people, El Diva, uh-huh. came to one location wow. and spent $31 wow. yes. oh. round it is wow. 100 thousand dollars wow. wow imagine what we could do yeah with that that's big with that right money circulating and underneath yeah. it he put circulating dollars mm. wow. circulating awesome. dollars mm-hmm. and you've heard us speak about dollars circulating in our community less than six hours mm. six mm. hours others it can last a month and, and that's why we have the yeah. challenge and the challenge is hey tag a friend yeah mm-hmm. shout mm-hmm. out a black owned business yeah. yes Shout yeah. out the ones that you support and then learn some new ones. We had Candy Lowe, yep. who was in here earlier this week with Donald Dowridge talking about the importance and kudos to you and your recognition from the city of Tampa. Yes. Yes, yes that was good. Yes. That was yeah, awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's time for those people to, <laughs> who are now coming into our community, seeing what we are doing. Yeah. So when you step on this campus, there are so many businesses. But you are just right around the corner. I am. I'm right there on MLK Boulevard, wow. <laughs> 1613. So, What's your business? It is Fifi's Wash, and, wash Dry, and Fold. Oh, okay. Wash, wash dry, dry, and, and Fold. fold. Fifi. But they haven't heard the best part of it. It is so affordable. It is literally 80 cents a pound. No, wait a minute. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was a typo, DJ but CEO. I not. was like, I'm not, pulling uh-uh. everything no, out. Let me tell you, I spend a lot of money in dry cleaning. Wow. wow. I really do. Right. I take on average about... Mm, I'd say about 12 shirts yeah. and a couple of suits. And I'm telling you, my bill is... It's it hefty. It's is hefty. Yeah. Wow. Well, but, but no, She'll be the first to tell you so, she's not so, a dry cleaner. I, okay. I am not. I don't do suits. I do do a lot of dress dress shirts, you dress do. clothes, because I iron, I starch, them. I press, I do all that, but not the suits. So okay. there's a difference. Just I do what you would do so at you home do shirts. with care. Absolutely. Oh, oh I like Absolutely, that. I do care. And when the yeah. shirts come back, they're starched and ready to hang up they in the They are already hung closet. and ready to go oh, oh, before oh, wow. you even leave. Okay, I but, even color code your stuff. Oh, okay, but wait, wait, wait. wait, wait, wait. I got you. You know what? I, I'm well, gonna, I, hey, hey, hey. You don't, I, Tammy, Tammy, I, call no, in. No, 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 <laughs> call in, Tammy. <laughs> Let, well, you know, guess what? What? It's that time. I, I'll I wait hear, till after I the was break. waiting. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Tammy, you're saved by the bell. But it is a call in show. The number is 813 444 9588. So if you just happen to be a customer of Fifi's, call in. We'll be back after the break. Jazz at Miss Connie's house is brought to you by Ray Williams Funeral Home, providing the highest quality, professional, and caring service for your family. Call Jeffrey Rhodes at 813-253-3419. That's 813-253-3419. Or visit him at 301 North Howard Avenue, Tampa, Florida. Ray Williams Funeral Home, for the finest care and quality service. 
This is Linda Archie with Tayo Temple United Methodist Church. Join us every first and third Saturday of the month at the Village Market East Tampa, 3206 North Sanchez Street. Free parking, free admission, fresh produce, live entertainment, vendor shopping, and delicious cooked food. Join us every first and third Saturday of the month, beginning June 22nd. For vendor information, call me, 1-888-991-2502. See our ad in In Touch News or Florida Sentinel. Please call me at 1-888-991-2502. The Village Market at East Tampa, 3206 North Sanchez Street. This is Trina Johnson with Caldwell Banker Real Estate, the real estate agent you've been looking for. If you want top dollar for your home or you're looking to make a purchase, call me at 813-244-6953. Again, 813-244-6953 and let me list your home. Welcome back to Let's Talk Business with SJC. I am here with my co-host, hello, hello. Al Diva. Al Diva. Al Diva Couture Boutiques. Classy, sassy, and, and fabulous. Y'all heard it right here. She <laughs> she talked to us earlier but um, about what she's bringing here for in celebration of National Black Business Month. And let me tell y'all something about Linda. Uh, I'm going to go with Al Diva. When the, when the boutique comes into the house... I don't even have to ask her where to put her. <laughs> she wants that back wall and some space. Yes. And it's beautiful because whatever event you are at, the place is just brightened up. Aww. It's brightened up. So, again, we want to welcome back Miss Fifi. Hello. And that's Felicia yes, Murray. <laughs> and if you all have anyone that can talk about cleaning clothes the way this girl does <laughs> it was as if though you were describing one of my favorite foods which is a lobster okay. <laughs> <laughs> my, my husband used to say oh my gosh the way you eat a lobster we'll, eat, we'll save that conversation for another day <laughs> let's just leave it at I love a lobster <laughs> But you were talking to us, and then you were you were talking to DJ CEO about how you launder the the shirts, mm-hmm. the dress shirts, mm-hmm. and and all of a sudden he has something to say. Well, you know I, I'm a stickler about my my shirts, and uh, especially because I wear a lot of cufflink shirts. Um, and it, it, do you? What about shrinkage? If you don't dry clean, what about shrinkage? A lot of times, I don't even dry your shirt. Okay. I, I hang dry because I don't want to have to worry about that because I'm not a cleaner. Okay. And I don't ever want to have to have that problem. So I dry hang. I, okay. I, I hang your shirts up yeah. until they dry. Air dry. Yes. I air dry them. And then I go to the ironing board, right to the ironing wow. board on them. Really? Girl. Oh, yeah. I'm a label reader. Like, <laughs> I read okay. these labels. If I have to hand wash, that's what I do because I'm not a cleaner, but they still want that kind of care. Yeah. I give it to them. You, you can just so, come so to fee and I got you. How, how does your cost compare to uh, a dry cleaner's? It's uh, <laughs> That's funny that you asked that. We were just, it's like $1.90 versus my 80 cents. Oh, wow. And on the weekends, it's even they charge you even more than that. And they're not same day. A lot of times I can get you your clothes same day. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Not only do that, but we do deliver and pick up. Okay. Is that extra? Wow. That is not extra. What? I, I believe that everybody should have clean clothes. I have a lot of elders. I have a lot of people that can't get out. Right. And wow. that's my goal. Everybody should have clean clothes. And I don't care where you are. I will come get them. I okay. absolutely will come get them and pick them up and drop them off because I just believe everybody, it just makes you feel good yeah. to have clean sheets and clean yeah. shirts. Yeah, and, yeah, and yeah. yeah. It's, important. Yeah. it's important. And I think, yeah. So if I bring my shirts here to my oh, he's business, helping you out. you'll come and get them absolutely and but bring them back absolutely okay <laughs> Is that hung, crazy up, hung up on hangers okay 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 <laughs> okay but what are the other things that you do um that i like about your business and for those of us or individuals who are not used to having their clothes um laundered by others you also provide a consultation i do so tell our radio listening audience and they're global so you you really are tampa bay central okay. i mean do you go outside or you yeah, I, have one not had to, I have not had to go outside, but that I would. I absolutely would. If somebody right. called me and Brandon was like, listen, I need this. I, I have nobody else to, you know, what can you do for me? I'm there. I'm absolutely there without a problem. 
And so, but you offer the you offer the consultation. The consultation is when you come in. You know, everybody has different fabrics. Mm-hmm. You know, and if you don't understand that I'm not a dry cleaners, I have to break that down to you. So let's awesome. go through your laundry. Let, let's sort it together. A lot of times I'll say, stay here so we can sort it together. And you tell oh me what goodness. you need from me. Wow. And at that point, I'll either say, okay, I'll hand wash that. I'll hand wash that. I'll hang dry that. And that's how we go about our consultation, making sure your clothes are coming back to you the way that you brought them to me. Wow. Girl, that, that's good. That's good information. That's great information for us. And I am so glad that you're joining us today on the show because we were looking for unique businesses, mm-hmm. looking for businesses that um, people may not even know about right. and, and they could be in your neighborhood, mm-hmm. but it doesn't even matter. Right. You don't have to be in the neighborhood. You will go to where the need is. Well, you hear all the time, oh, you get great service in South Tampa and you get great service in Brandon. I am giving you that kind of service right here in your own neighborhood. East you Tampa. don't have to go that far. Absolutely. Right. I'm right here on MLK and I'm giving you that. I'm big on customer service. You know, you come in, I help you in the door. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I, lo- I, love, I love to see a smiling face out the door. And okay. that's what it's important to me the most is that, that customer service and you being happy when you leave. Wow. So that's a great motto. So, so you know, m- my wife um, does not send her clothes to the cleaners because I guess I take up so much of the cleaning bill. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm so serious. Either that I, or the closet. Uh, well, no, she's got the closet. <laughs> I'm sure she, she definitely got the closet. As a matter of fact, she, she's spilling over into mine. But she doesn't do it. And I always tell her, I said, baby, you just need to take it to the dry cleaners. You just need to take it to the dry cleaners. So, so I don't know much about how ladies clean their clothes. Right. But if you were talking to ladies right now, who, like my wife, you know, just wash theirs and, and, and hang it up, what would you recommend to them to bring their, their clothes to you? Would I recommend them to bring Absolutely. Absolutely. And what kind of clothing, what kind of dresses do you recommend that they bring? Well, I, you can bring me anything. I don't want you to bring ballroom gown. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Maybe first of the month, all white church dresses. You know, that's really not a place for what I, what I, what I, what okay. I do. Mm-hmm. But anything else other than that, I got you. And if I can't do it, I'll uh-huh. be honest with you and say, you know what? I think this is something that you should probably take. It's not about money for me. Okay. I, I would absolutely tell them it's not. Uh, this is something you should probably have dry clean. People don't realize dry cleaners, they're not actually washing your clothes. They're using a chemical. A chemical. chemical. Oh. So it's not getting to wash. But I'm washing. So what are you using? I use everything. I, uh, I, have, I have some clients that don't. I, I'm sorry. In, in terms of you don't use chemicals? I use detergents. Detergents. I use more of what, what detergents. Um, when I do dry cleaning stuff that you would bring to me, it's, mm-hmm. I have a wood a wool light product that I use. Okay. That you actually don't wash it and you throw it in the dryer and you work it that way. Okay. Um, so I do have some little dry cleaning. Don't tell all your secrets. I won't tell everything, but I got my tricks that make you you'll leave happy. I promise you that. Okay. Well, well, we're gonna we're gonna pan around to to Aldiva because you've got quite the line and different fabrics and, and we were talking earlier about like for instance the dress that I have on is is a is a polyester and so I would normally just probably take this and and, and wash it on delicate and just hang it up mm-hmm. so that it will never see a dry you because there's a little bit of spandex yeah. um, in there as well mm-hmm. but the fact that knowing that you can trust someone that will come and, and take your clothes and give that same kind of I mean you you your passion is just coming through it's like you know we see it coming out of your skin <laughs> I love it. But you have a lot of different fabrics. Like, for instance, this outfit that you have on now. And I notice even some of your fabrics um, are not machine washable. But what are, what are um, give us a line or some of the types of fabrics that, that you have. And you have, you purchase your own clothes. Do most of yours go out for, for dry cleaning? Or are you able to handle them yourself? Um, yeah, I, I handle most of everything <laughs> myself. Okay. Of course, I'm so, and so, so busy. Yeah, very, 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 very busy. I don't um, know how. Well, oh, yeah. uh, busy, busy, just working <laughs> all the time. Doing That's what things. I'm saying. Yeah. How do you have time? I, yeah, don't really. But one of the things that I love, and, and I'm wearing one of the fabrics now, is this scuba knit fabric. This is one of the new th- fabrics that have come out, mm-hmm. and I love it. It, it. Yeah, we all love it. You know, no matter. And I, my husband says you are the most messiest person ever because <laughs> I, I will spill something on me, uh, drop something on me, and I find with the. Um, scuba fabric you can just wash it 
you know, just lightly just spot, it? spot it mm -hmm. and then throw it into comes the washer up. and it comes right out and there's no iron. Looking just like yeah. this. And when I want a fresh, and I'm really, and I want that question for you too, I'm real sensitive about smell. Mm -hmm. So I always throw, and I love the, the scuba fabric because I throw it in the dryer. I don't have to iron it. I can just put it on. It's form fitting. It's going to, you know, mm -hmm. it's stretch. You know, Miss Tammy talked yes, about, so we love, she loves stretchy mm -hmm. clothes. So yeah. Yeah. We, we want, we want um, so 70, 30. Right. Yes, <laughs> 70, 70 spandex. <laughs> So, well, what is one of the secrets of cleaning fabric? Uh, do people bring things to you that have stains like blood and all that? Are you able to get those I things out? I absolutely am. And that's where my background at the hotel oh, comes yeah, in hand come because in. I had to learn all that. Uh -huh. And so it just kind of helps me at this situation. Absolutely peroxide. I have all kinds oh, of peroxide. tricks of the trade. Peroxide gets out blood. Yeah, there's a difference between... Um, oxygen bleach and Clorox bleach. Okay. You know what I mean? So there's difference. Uh, vinegar helps get out of, uh, get smells out. You can use that as a fabric softener instead of fabric softener. Wow. So I have okay. a lot of clients that use like smell and some that don't. And you, you, you the sensitive, no, no smells right, at don't all. Want so. that, don't mm -hmm. want that scent due yep. to the sensitivity. Yep. Oh. Let me ask you one more question. Absolutely. One more secret question. A Makeup. Secret question. <laughs> yeah, Because yeah, you know, it's really good to hear yeah. about yeah. the peroxide. And all. Oh, I've yeah. I've never thought about oh, that. Absolutely. So yeah. makeup. What's a good thing to get makeup out of your clothes? Usually, you want to, if you can pre, you can use your normal laundry soap as a, 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 a pre, uh, what am I pre -treat. calling? Pre-treat. A pre-treat. Uh -huh. uh, that's just simple as that. You know what I mean? If you catch it in time, that's you just the key. scrub. That's the key. You scrub it in there, and you don't need a bunch of extras because that's what's going to change the color of your fabrics oh. when you start using mm. all those different. You, you don't need all that, especially if you're using liquid. Mm -hmm. Liquid is the best. Liquid detergent is the best for that kind wow. of problem for a makeup problem. Yep, you use the liquid and you just pre-treat it, and you should be fine. Wow, I think you've educated awesome. a whole bunch of people I hope today. I so. know, and that's why we were excited. We Thank were excited so about having her on the you. on the show, yeah. so she could share with us um, some of those secrets, um, secrets to the trades. But but more importantly, just to have, just to know that we have a business that um, if it's a busy week like mm -hmm. this week, we can call you up yeah. and say, you take bundles, right? I take bundles. <laughs> I do a black ski club. They you, bring me you all judge, their ski clubs. Uh, <laughs> the Onyx, Onyx Ski Club? No. Oh, okay. No. Um, but they, yeah, I do, a, uh, I landed a ski club. I, But yeah, the, um, all their gear. I, I don't I don't turn awesome. away anything. I don't turn away anything. If it's possible and I think I can do it, we work that out. <laughs> Absolutely. Right. Or you let them know up front. I definitely let them know up front. So, so uh, uh, following uh, Linda's question about smell, so, so I, I know that... Uh, well, I'm assuming mm -hmm. as 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 uh, we get older, mm -hmm. uh, we have a tendency to run from deodorants. <laughs> right. So we don't use deodorants as often as we did when we were younger. Right. Uh, and so your clothes, you know, it's sometimes have a tendency to smell mm -hmm. and, and, and must uh, mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. kind of difficult to get out. Can mm -hmm. you do that? I would add white vinegar. Vinegar. It wow. gets it right out. You would think it would leave that vinegary smell, yeah. but a lot of times I can use that as a fabric softener smell. Right. Versus the, the fabric other chemicals. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The other chemicals. It's a natural product, and you can use that, and it comes. Right. I have some some clients who have elderly, you know, family members that they do laundry for, disabled, and yes. they have really strong odors, and they have to be careful on what they use on their skin. Yeah. I use natural products. I use baking wow. soda. I use white that's vinegar. I, that's what I, I use, use baking okay. soda. Yeah. So I use all natural products when I when they borax. come to me. Yeah. And they yeah. tell me that's what a lot of them can't use the bleach. Yeah. And they can't. Right. They don't like the smells. Oh, I their use skin can't take it. And their skin yeah. can't take it. And, and I've had my skin to react to some mm -hmm. things. Yeah. I use natural products the, as much as I can. I do. Oh, that's well, I wonderful. love that, and that's part of that. That's part of that consultation. So, give us the name of the business again. Fifi's Dry Wash and Fold. And and the address. 1613 North, North MLK Boulevard. Now tell us exactly where that is because I know you were trying to explain to um, DJ CEO the placement. I mean, you are you are housed in between, what is that, Young Junior High School? We are next to Young Elementary. Oh, that's elementary? It's elementary, right? Middle school. Oh, middle school. Okay, I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah. Young it was, it was uh, middle school. High when I went there. Yeah. <laughs> Young middle school, and then we, now we have a new barbecue spot that's right there, oh, and okay. a barber shop that's right there. So we're kind of building up right there in that little location, mm -hmm. and it's a lot of it's a lot of um, traffic there. Well, those are two great um, two great businesses as far as to be businesses housed in between, goes, right. because with the with the barber shop, 
and the towers, and then a little further down is a is a hair salon. So you there should, is yeah there is, and I'm beating out the cleaners with them prices. I'm telling you, <laughs> <Wow. laughs> with well, that you 80s, go. you cannot beat that 80 cents per pound when they're doing a dollar ninety and, and even more on the weekends. What are Absolutely. your hours? My hours are from I am on call from six to. Oh, sorry. That's okay. Go ahead. Give your hours. Okay. We're break for from 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 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. and I'm on call till 8 p.m. Wow. Wow. Seven days a week right now, baby. Seven, seven days, days a week. Days a week. Oh, seven days a week. No, no, no. No way. Seven days we'll, a week. We'll talk about that when we come back after the break. And so we will be back after the break. Thank you for tuning in to Let's Talk Business with SJC. This gives us a chance to say... This is Trina Johnson with Caldwell Banker Real Estate, the real estate agent you've been looking for. If you want top dollar for your home or you're looking to make a purchase, call me at 813-244-6953. Again, 813-244-6953 and let me list your home. My name is Gil Sampson. I didn't come from a very rich family, and so paying for college would have been very tough. I don't know if I would have been able to go to the college that I went to, and then I don't know if I would have gotten into the career that I am in. So I think Bright Futures has done a lot to shape my life. I uh, got a job as a structural engineer, and I design residential buildings, commercial buildings all over the United States. Because of Bright Futures, I was able to go to college. You know, so many kids just don't even ever get that opportunity and to be able to do it and not have any debt when I graduated is amazing and it was all thanks to Bright Futures. Florida has created more than 1 million jobs in only five years and a great education connects our students to these exciting opportunities. That's why the Florida Lottery has funded Bright Futures scholarships to help over 725,000 students attend college because every play is for education. The Florida Lottery. Just imagine. Hi, this is Dale Day. Join me every Monday at 7 p.m. for Jazz at Miss Connie's House, bringing you the smoothest jazz and the coolest guests right here on In Touch Radio. We are back. Thank you so much. We are, we're back after the break. Let's talk business with SJC. I'm here with my fourth Wednesday of the month co-host. Hello, hello. El Diva. <laughs> And she's talking to us about her fashions. And we're talking about fabrics and how to, to best care for the fabrics. But when we discovered you, Felicia, we discovered a gem. Yes, definitely. We, we definitely. really did. And, and I am so excited. And I can actually attest um, to your service. Um, your husband came here to 5508 and picked up a package. My first thought was... 80 cents a pound, 80 cents a pound. I need a scale. Let me just drop a whole bundle. <laughs> Let me drop a whole bundle on the scale and see see what that looks like. And, and you guys were just, don't worry about it. Yeah. I, and, I want to be a part of this. Don't worry about it. I got you. We're going to work this out. I love the way she says no that. I got, you. I got you. But when you think about it, um, and if you probably, like my husband, this is what my husband did. I'm, I'm, I'm going to let you all know. <laughs> my husband takes all of our stuff to the cleaners and, and he separates them. So one day I asked him to pick my stuff up or the lady said, do you want to take your wipes? He said, how much is hers? How much is hers? <laughs> he said, no, I'm going to just take mine. <laughs> I, I was like, honey, you. the money comes from the same account. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> well, because, you know. He was like, you can purchase a, a new hot. outfit. That's right. It wow. Is. It is. But it, it is just so important to know that you are right down the street. People don't even really know I'm there. And and you don't just do clothes. You will oh, launder no. linens. I have blank. Oh, yeah. Blank I'll, bedding. Wow. I, have, I even do Curtains. dog linen. Dog Wait, linen comes oh, to some of the other. Because I'm the one that cleans the laundry mat. Okay. That's what, that's what I do, too. That's a part of what I do. Um, so I... When I have somebody that comes in with dog stuff, I do. I clean out the washing machine for the next, you know, for the the next yeah. person that comes in. But yeah, I do everything. So so let me understand. Oh, we love it, hearing that. Is it? <laughs> It, it, can the general public come in and use the facilities? Absolutely. It is a complete, it's just, it's a laundromat. It's just a normal it's laundromat. A, oh, we don't have a lot of the wham whams and zoom zooms that everybody, it's called Tampa Coin and Laundry. That's okay. where I'm located. Okay. Um, and we don't have a lot of the flat 
screen TVs, but when you walk in there and you see this smile and you see that customer service and be holding the door and making sure your mama who's coming in there with no help gets help while I'm in there, that's what it's all about. That That's what I do. So is that the difference between your uh, laundromat and any other laundromat around here? Absolutely. And cost. And <laughs> that, that and the price. It's, it's, that it's and the price, now. absolutely. Ap- that and the price, absolutely. I did a little tour. I did a little sneaking and watching and checking <laughs> right. out the other spots. Okay. And that's what we bring different to the table. Number one, we're a family-owned business. But we do not own the laundromat. We do run the wash, dry, and fold okay. out of this laundromat. I work for wonderful okay. people, though. Wow. Okay. Um, but, yeah, that's what we do, and we run it as a family, and that's what they love about it. They come in there, they see this family, they see everybody working together, wow. and and that's what keeps bringing people back, and how your clothes look on the way out the door, because they definitely look like they came from a cleaner. I'm going to try. Wow. <laughs> oh, no doubt. I will, It surprises people when they... I'm not going to tell you my tricks of the trade, however. No, 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 no. But, no, no. You, but, you keep it. Yeah. Just, yeah. We'll know when we look at... My, my garments are coming back in, uh, any minute now. Absolutely. <laughs> but yeah, you, they walk out that door and you're like, whoa, this came from a wash, dry, and fold? Absolutely. That's Fifi's wash and fold. Come okay. check me out. Okay. Wow. Well, I definitely we will. will oh, um, absolutely. I'd love a it. lot of folks to you. People call me when they purchase items for me. How can I get this stain out? So I'm going to let them know, hey, you're the stain master. Absolutely. Come you on and see out. me. So even if they will, don't. Don't use me. They could at least have a conversation with me. And then if they choose to go somewhere else, that's on them. But at, at that point, they'll be able to talk with me and we'll, we'll, I'll be honest with them about what's going on with their clothing. Wow. So to the, to the person that has a small uh, restaurant with, with linens and napkins and they can oh, just bundle really it cool. all up and you'll come and Absolutely. pick it up. Absolutely. I'm beating any prices out there because I want to be a part of this community. So the I 80, be a 80 part cents of that. per 80 pound cents never per changes? Pound. It never changes. And I don't have a minimum weight. I've had people come in. A lot of the... A lot of the laundry mats with the dry wash and fold will have a minimum, ten dollar minimum. Well, there's some people that come here that doesn't don't have number one that you know that amount of clothing mm-hmm. and that amount of money. Right. Oh wow. So that's okay with fee. Everybody's when they come into me, they're leaving with clean clothes. I believe everybody should have them, and I don't have a minimum. I've I've hand washed a shirt and a pair of shorts before because there was no need to do a whole wash, and there's no minimum on it. I, will I, do I that don't know too. if that's pun or not, but you said no fee for fee. No fee for fee. <laughs> no, no pun intended. No, no fee for fee. fee. No fee for fee. Yeah, I just I just believe everybody should. Walk I, out of those I think you're clothes. giving us a, a great appreciation mm-hmm. for yes. the care in the in the clothes that we have because one of the points that DJ CEO brought out was what happens when there is some shrinkage um, involved. There, there are some things I just refuse to take anymore because I, I'll never forget uh, Mrs. Brown. She said, she's a size two, and she said, um, my daughter said to me, my suit is, is too tight, and she says it's shrinking. <laughs> <laughs> and so I, she said, the cleaner has shrunk my suit. <laughs> and so And there, there is a little bit of that going on yeah. and sometimes we have to pull those those garments out of the closet and kind of put them on for about 30 minutes before <laughs> right. we can walk out the door Stretch it, out a little bit. it is what it is <laughs> right. and so and i like the fact that that you do do that my husband is very very particular mm-hmm. um about his shirts he he likes some the cuffs and the and the collars mm-hmm. and sometimes um because of the the way the cuff rubs your mm-hmm. your wrist mm-hmm. Um, he's starting to notice that some cleaners, were, were, they just... They won't, they don't do a good job. Yeah. They I don't. mean, he has gone to so many, I mean, I'm talking top of the line to, mm-hmm. you know, whether it's 249, yeah. but we look at him and we say, oh my gosh, did, did this even make it to the... And we've yeah. had to take them back. Right. But I like the fact that you'll launder them, let them dry naturally, and yeah. then just go to work. Well, not only that, before I even do any of that, I'm treating it. And so if you come in with that, you know, around okay. your wrist, then I take a brush, which is for clothing, and I scrub that out. There's no ring around my neck or around my wow. around my wrist. I I'm not going. That's not how what I do. You know, but I'm making sure I take the time to do that. If you take the time to come to me, Wow. And give me that opportunity. I'm going to take the time to make sure your clothing is the way you need it to be when you walk out the door. That's wonderful. So, so, so 80 cents a pound. Um, what's the average weight of a shirt? Oh, good question. Oh, good question. question. That's actually a great question. Because I know I've my husband done. will be asking me that. I don't know that, that question. I've never okay. done a good question, but I've never done never weighed one shirt to be honest with you because Fifi gets big loads but even if even if a person brought in um say five shirts and so because that's what I did I was thinking well what does a tablecloth weigh Way. and we were looking for a scale and just to kind of uh, figure out if, if they're 25 
linen, one one ninety size tablecloths. Right. Wonder what that weight would be. Right. Because at first I thought it was eighty cents a piece. <laughs> so no. I said, she would be out of business. Yeah. yeah. And I said to myself, Are you sure? And then it was eighty cents a pound. Because if you would have took that linen to a cleaner's, mm -hmm. they would have charged you by the um it would have been by the square footage. Oh, oh yeah, because they have, been, have these bins now that you're dropping them in. Oh, uh, bags. It would have been by the square footage. So it would have, and really? those were pretty long. <laughs> so Whoa. you would, and it's two dollars per square footage. Per they would have charged you for that linen. For that oh, linen. My, I think it was wow. like a five pound bag of sugar. If yep. I can pick up, <laughs> if I can pick up five tablecloths and or whatever it is, or, right. or, or shirts, and it's a five right. pound bag of sugar. Right. My gosh. You're you're nothing. What, so what you brought me is no big deal. You it's know what? Deal. My my wife my wife does. Uh, <laughs> We do events at our home sometime, and she has um, uh, 30 um, tablecloths yeah. for mm -hmm. 10 tops. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's huge. And that's mm -hmm. 120. That's and, and, 120 rounds. And, and then we have to, after the events, she sprays yeah. them all, you know, lets them sit for half the day, yeah. and then she washes. Now, you know how, how big a washing machine is. Mm -hmm. so the we one at home. What, maybe two. And it t it's a long process for her mm -hmm. to clean those tablecloths. Right. But now we have a solution. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, I have absolutely. an 80-pound washing machine wow. for things just like that, oh, for situations just like that. That's why I can do the human, I'm done. you know, the king-size yeah. comforters I'm and done. stuff you like that. You already know. <laughs> you do too. I'm, I'm done. <laughs> Yeah, we have. And I one. enjoy it, but I'm done. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And I and that's a lot of times people are just like, I just don't want to do this. But I get a lot of single mothers. You'd be yeah, surprised on who time. comes in there to see me. Mm -hmm. You know, I get a lot of single mothers who are just stressed out. They have football, they're soccer, they're this, and they just right. don't have the time. And that's when they come to fee. Yeah. Wow. That's, I, I that's appreciate that because I'm liking it to where the industry is going right now. Yes. My, we were talking about using the delivery services at our grocery stores. And I remember having this conversation with some of my friends and I was going, girl, please. I can't be so busy that I can't stop and, you oh, know, go mm -hmm. do marketing, but <laughs> but let me, full disclaimer here, yeah. my husband does the marketing. <laughs> for, Mine too. Look, full, Mine too. Full disclaimer. <laughs> but when I did do it, and I thought, have we gotten so busy that we can't go to the market and, and, and do our shopping until one day when you're having an event and you're like, I need to go to the grocery store. And you go, oh, wait a minute. Let me just call Publix. Let me yeah. just go online, yeah. yeah. place that order. And all of a sudden, it shows up. Or you can just go and pick it up. Yeah. So I like it. I get it now. My, my daughters was telling me that's just the way they do business. Mm -hmm. You know, the millenniums, if it's online, it that's, that's exactly it. how they're going to right. shop for it. That's mm -hmm. where they're going. If it can be delivered at that house. We talked about it the other day. When you walk into your neighborhood, there's a prime Mercedes-Benz truck going in and out all day long. <laughs> yeah. All day long, in and out, in and out, dropping off packages, dropping off packages. And you're telling us to help us save. Tammy is pressing stuff for days. <laughs> Oh, they're slightly. We can slightly hear. We're going to take a commercial break, but thank you for tuning in to Let's Talk Business with SJC with our two special, well, my co hosts and guests, Fifi and LB. So believe me, hundred down, eight one three two four eight six three hundred. Everything gon' be okay, car Ricky, he coming. He take the kids to the floor to grab a pin of sundown. One eight four three six one ring. That's one eight four three six seven one, four two five. Never word from the point four, just recline. Just ask Ricky, plus your boy stay fine. Just in case you missed it, I'ma tell you one more time. One eight four three six one ring. Call Ricky, ask Ricky the legal medical. The doctors and lawyers in our network are trained in handling auto injury claims, giving you the best medical treatment and recovery. Now, 1844 361 Rick. That's 1844 361 7425. Ricky, 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 Ricky. Ask Ricky, Ricky. This is
Linda Archie with Taiyu Temple United Methodist Church. Join us every first and third Saturday of the month at the Village Market East Tampa, 3206 North Sanchez Street. Free parking, free admission, fresh produce, live entertainment, vendor shopping, and delicious cooked food. Join us every first and third Saturday of the month beginning June 22nd. For vendor information, call me 1-888-991-2502. See our ad in In Touch News or Florida Sentinel. Please call me at 1-888-991-2502. The Village Market at East Tampa, 3206 North Sanchez Street. And we are back. Welcome back to Let's Talk Business with SJC. I'm here in the studio in Touch News Radio. It's National Black Business Month. We've been shouting out our Black-owned businesses all month long, and we do have a list of them. And while I'm giving out some of the, the businesses, and we're going to come back and continue our phenomenal conversation about fashion, the care of our fashion fabrics. Yes. You have truly, Fifi, enlightened us, and now we have a better appreciation. So just to hear you say, you're shipping a couple of blouses, and that's, um, say, two pounds. Less than two pounds, Okay, actually. less than two pounds. So right. we're taking what we purchased from you, right. calling her yes. to come and pick it up. So then you multiply that, what you wear a week. So say you end up with 10 pounds. Mm -hmm. of, of of clothing that you have utilized all week long and then we come to you and we're saving on our light bill our water bill <laughs> our time our gas our energy you know you, i deliver a lot to people's jobs they'll bring i'll and, and, pick and, it but up no that's that whole yeah. 10 pounds yeah, we're bringing whole you, 10 pounds. and we're not even spending ten dollars for it not at all whoa yeah, i live all the way out there in odessa well, listen. Well, you heard him say he was, <laughs> you heard him say he was running himself at five right here. Here, right? That's a forty-minute drive for me. Yeah. <laughs> that's the part. I, that's the part that I found so amazing because the businesswoman in me is saying, "What? Yeah." yeah. I, I would be a sitting now having a consultation with you, saying, "This is business." Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. I appreciate what you're doing because mm -hmm. if that's what you use and that's mm -hmm. how you give back, no one can take that from you. Mm -hmm. right. And mm -hmm. so there's some businesses. So I want you to think of three okay. um, as we're talking about DJ CEO. You think of three that you want to shout out. And then you think of three businesses that you want to shout out. And in the meantime, because the, today is the 28th of the month. Wait, 28th or 29th? No, 28th. I was right. 28th of the month. So we do want to shout out, and it's called Trinix Enterprises. We have a whole list. Two divine boutique and image concierge specialists. Mm-hmm. JR Flaming Grill, Barbecue, Triumph and Deliverance Cathedral, Church of God in Christ. Shout out to you all. Classy Kingdom Clothiers. Y'all might want to call Fifi. <laughs> y'all might want to call Fifi. Rick Rollins, the Style Lab, you might want to call Fifi. We want to give a, a shout out to Pinker Than Life Custom Clothing, might want to call Fifi. <laughs> Dunlap's Heating and AC Services with your uniforms might want to call Fifi <laughs> and then we have um, Kino Fit Physical Therapy we have Social Architects we have Global Transcendence Apex TBN Digital Solutions um, oh yeah we've got attorney Kimmy hey Kimmy Oja Oguntibi and so we have Pretty Little Berries and Sweets oh that sounds oh, good yeah. mm -hmm. And then old oh, Miss Q, Miss Q Nail Designs, she might want to call Fifi to use your services <laughs> as well. But here you go, mm -mm -mm. DJ the Barber. Oh, okay. he's over there at Six Element Barber Shop. You can handle all of their towel Absolutely. and cleaning needs as I well. I gotcha. Yeah, so when the when the guys come in, they could put that hot warm towel across the all their fresh face and clean. And by the time they come <laughs> home, we can appreciate that softness in that right, DJ CEO. Then we have Turbo Print Shop. They have some things over there that you can help out with. We've got, and they also own um, Tax Geeks Financial Services as well. Oh, okay. Don't worry, we're going to tag all of these businesses on our page. And then there is Candace Love Boutique. Oh. They can use yes. Fifi. Beat by Tweet, The Closet Corner, they can use Fifi. And, and those are things, oh, another, we got Fadeology Barbershop. Okay. So if you think about it, we've got the barbershops, the beauty salons, all of these boutiques. And by the way, these are all black-owned businesses. Wow. Yeah, we went in search for different types of businesses yeah. that we can shout out on the air. And we're saying to the community, so for almost 31 days, we've been giving you 
hundreds of ways now because we do whatever that day of the week is. That's how many businesses we have been calling out. Wow. So on Saturday, the 31st, yes. bring your $31 mm-hmm. or more. Donate to a nonprofit. Pay it forward to a business. We may just, you know, say, girl, we appreciate what you're doing and we want you to continue to do what you do because you have such a passion for what you do and you're giving us affordable Clean work because you want everybody to be clean. I do. What's your motto? That's my point. By the way, Fifi, what's your motto? Let me see. What's your tagline? We've got a flyer and and we want to make sure. Oh, look, kids eat free. Wow. Let's see. Tampa Corn Laundry. That's 1613 East ML King Boulevard. And that's 33610. Whoop, whoop. 33610. That's where we are. You're going to have bounce houses. Yeah, it's it's. I didn't have a. We've got a grand opening, so we did decide to have one and okay. just come on out. There's gonna be a couple of bi- other businesses there representing themselves also, but yeah, I just wanted. One day. To, uh, it is September seventh. Oh, okay. And right I just, up in, next weekend. Yeah, next. Yeah, I just wow. want everybody to just show up. Be the kids. We also have an international skater that's gonna come out and do some tricks for the awesome. kids. Awesome. Yeah. The kids eat free. The adults can buy a platter. Um, but just come, just say hi. Even just to come say, can, pop can we in drop and say off hi. some clothes? You absolutely can <laughs> drop off some clothes. I want you to come and <laughs> drop, drop off some clothes. clothes. Please do. On that day as well. <laughs> Please do. Well, yeah. listen, you 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 find us a $31 special, a bundle that we can, we can bring in. I'm working on that in. right now. <laughs> Fifi is actually going to, to be here at 5508 as well, oh, letting wow. the community know. And you know what you can do for us? What's that? Kind of help us understand what's five pounds of clothes or ten pounds oh, of clothes. Oh, that'd be great. Mm-hmm. I should bring yeah, my little scale. Great, yeah, that's a great setup scale for you. Out. And put some clothes and, 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 and that way we can kind of get a visual yeah. mm-hmm. of what ten shirts, you know, what yeah. ten shirts weigh or, or something like that. I love that because we have so many over thirty one businesses will be on campus wow. here yeah. on Saturday, and so one of our vendors yesterday she baked a strawberry sour no s- strawberry cream cheese pound. cake. Oh my wow. gosh. Wow. Strawberry cream cheese pound cake. Where, uh, did, yeah. Is we she, we she have took, another one that's it? bringing. I want a slice. Yeah, no, <laughs> you, better, <laughs> you better be here on Saturday. Hey. I mean, some of the desserts are red velvet cake. Um, there's a mango cake, mm. strawberry oh, cake, wow. old fashioned pound cakes. Um, there's a lady baking sweet potato pies. Oh, my goodness. And you can get the small ones or the large ones. We have uh, jewelry boutiques mm. coming here. We've got El Diva, yeah. who will have it all. The That's cuff Tam. bracelets that Tammy talked about. I have those. I will have those. Oh, Tammy, she's bringing the cuff, cuff bracelets. bracelets. Well, yeah, actually, the Tammy named them the, the cuff bracelets. <laughs> and the, because she looked at them and she said, I need two. Yes, yeah, she oh. needs two. To go on my long sleeve dresses or blouses yeah, yeah, so okay. that they can see the pearls coming off both my wrists. Wow. Okay. So she named okay. them the, 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 the okay. pearl cuff lengths. I like it. And so, but we have um, health and beauty. We have art. And we're talking to, oh, she's on our line now. Hey, Joyce. And Joyce does a fundraiser um, for her sister, dear, dear friend of mine, we lost to to breast cancer, and she bakes biscuits. Mm -hmm. She opens up her home, and all day long, people come in, and they donate towards breast cancer for the American Cancer Society, Mm -hmm. and you get to take home a dozen of freshly made Biscuits. Wow, that is so cool. That is really cool. Yeah, the bag makes it to my vehicle. and then it. it, it, By the time y'all see me crumbs all over my body. (laughs) My husband said, you couldn't wait, huh? (laughs) You have to eat biscuits while they're warm. So shout out, shout out. That's Diva J's um, aunt, by the way, DJ CEO. She's the one that bakes the biscuits. Oh, okay. So we're asking her to to come on and tell us about her event that she does every October. And that's, that's another family like your family. They all own businesses you've got bam bam with the bounce houses yeah. you've got um creative um creations from t-shirts and and things that mm-hmm. custom made that they do for you mm-hmm. so all types of businesses health health natural products maddie is coming back with her water okay if it's a business and they're all unique businesses oh, our cool. youth will be here so please bring lots of 31 dollars yes. yes. And yes. support our businesses and let the money stay here. We'll be here for about four hours. Yes. But if you bring the $31, it'll stay in this community for quite some time. Wow. Yes. So Definitely. August, National Black Business Month. Oh, by the way, I saw an article in the Florida Sentinel. Thank you. Thank you to the Florida Sentinel family. Thank you, editor um, Gwen Hayes. Very nice article. Asking the community to come out and, yeah. and bring their $31 plus. Your yes. three businesses, Aldiva. 
Oh, okay. Well, you know, my church, Taya Temple United Methodist yes, Church. Yes, tell us about yes, it. Yes, 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 we do the Village Market, which is at 3206 North Sanchez Street. And we do that every first and third Saturday of the month. So I'm going to shout out three businesses that are there that you can come and patronize on the first and the third right. Saturday of the month. Inspired Designs Boutique. Um, we also have... Uh, Bernie's um, Cool Ice, I think oh. is what it's called. Is that Bernie's? like the icy it's thing? It's an icy. Mm. Yes, okay, an awesome. Ice. Yeah. yeah, Bernie Cool Ice, she's there. We also have Blessed Beginnings Child Care Center, oh. which is right across the street from us, and they're one of our partners in our church. So Beautiful. They're there. Of course, we have AfroFit that comes oh, out. they're to going to be here with us. Yes, yeah. so they're there at the Village every yes. first, first Saturday of the month. Oh, let's. Get, we have um, Preston's Boutique. It's a mill. It's an African boutique that offers um, clothing for men as well as women. Oh, wow. 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 That's, that's this is, and the market yeah. is growing week by week, yes, month by month. Is. Okay, and yes, you guys are going to continue the village market until, I think you were thinking about extending the date? It's until October. Oh, until October. October. Okay, yes. so until October. The market is September the 7th. So hopefully they'll come over and see you and then come over and yes, see you. Yes, okay. okay. Great. <laughs> and what time is the market? The market's from 9 to 2. Okay. And AfroFit um, aerobics class is from 10 to 11. Now, that Natasha, Natasha will be here on the campus. Oh, by the way, I have a uh, uh, an appeal. So for those of you that's bringing your $31, we need a few of you to bring those bodies that um, Tampa Bay AfroFit is going to show us how to do a dem she's going to do a demonstration for us yes. and you right. saw her she was here on the show last month yes she's going to do a demonstration for us so we're looking for some volunteers all you brave divas out there <laughs> come with your comfortable athletic wear and she is going to show us how to um, go into some positions and get that body ready we're She's just going to take a picture and do the video. I'm going to join the, the I village join. market. I might join. I might do it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> You're going to be brave. Be brave. Come on. She's Come on. Really really good. Do it. She's, She's really not good. going to do the full class, but you can catch the full class um, at the village market, or she has a number of classes that she's putting on. She's going to do a demonstration for us. Mm -hmm. So Tampa Bay AfroFit will be in the house, but guess who else will be there? Inspired Designs. Oh, oh. really? Wow. And what's beautiful is is she is a fashion designer. All right. So All we're right. going to have the boutique, and then um, we're going to have you, and we're going to have a fashion designer right here on the mm. campus wow. of 5508. Cool. And then you have the businesses that are already here. And so go ahead and shout out your three. Well, um, since you asked, uh, <clears throat> I've actually, I'm going to do maybe four or five. Go ahead. But, do uh, six. Go two for me. Go <laughs> two for me. That's your, <laughs> that's your studio. <laughs> well, the, the, ones new that, here. the ones that I'm doing are literally for you because I know. Okay. Uh, oh, wow. And they're all attorneys. Oh, wow. Uh, wow. So we have, we have uh, attorney Barbara Pittman. Uh, hey Barbara. I, 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 Barbara's low. You will have to look, pick up a copy of Barbara's in North Tampa. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank or you. The black pages. Okay. Uh, <laughs> a, 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 absolutely. You have also uh, a, attorney uh, Patricia Dawson. Hey. Okay. Uh, they Baptizer. always have to keep their clothes nice and clean. Okay. Love you it. You have uh, uh, attorney Clinton Lynn Paris. Paris. Okay. Uh, and you have uh, uh, attorneys uh, uh, Joe Williams and. Uh, it's Williams and uh, Moore. Yeah, he's okay. a partner uh, now. Uh, out of out of Plant City. Okay. So uh, One, I two, want three, them four. to use you to keep their clothes clean. Wow. Mm. Now, as far as uh, a nonprofit goes, I'm going to shout out uh, my son's nonprofit. It's called yes. the Braxton Daryl Johnson Foundation. Oh wow! <clears throat> and we will be, we will have a 5K on September the 22nd. It's the day after the Power Couples Ball, but the 5K is going to be right here at Rogers Park. I want you to come to the ball. It's ten dollars uh, for adults, five dollars for children, uh, and it it benefits uh, the foundation. The, what one of the programs that we do is the Last Mile Scholarship, mm -hmm. and so the Ma Last Mile Scholarship is given to a student in their last year or semester of college. Oh, so wow. we need the community support for the Braxton jo Johnson uh, 5K, which is right over here at the Rod Rogers, right, Park Rogers Park Golf Park. Course, right off of 30th and Sly. Uh, also, I want to remind everybody. <clears throat> that our Power Couples Ball is September the 21st. Yes. Uh, it's at the Grand Hyatt. It's our 10th year. And we are looking forward to... Give me applause. Yeah, let me give uh, myself some applause. And, and we've yes, already yes, spoken yes. to you all about yes, attending the ball. Yes. And we will be there. We'll oh. be there. Yes, hey, I like that. 
we're, we're very excited about it. But I want to remind everybody that uh, if you're buying tickets online, mm -hmm. uh, it is uh, $100 till August 31st. Okay. After August 31st, it's $125 ahead if you're oh. buying online. Now, you can always get your ticket from a power couple host. So if you got the latest copy of, uh, of right In here. Touch okay, okay. And, and look on the back right page here. and you miss your August 31st deadline, you can always reach out to a power couple and still uh, get that $100 price. Okay. But I, I but must it makes warn sense. you. Yeah. yeah, I must warn you that most of my power couple hosts generally have their tables full yeah oh wow so 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 know that going in okay uh but but reach out to them and, okay. and i'm really we're really excited about the 10th year uh it's going to be all that and then some so will this be your first time attending it will be oh yes, that's gonna be special and it'll yes. certainly be your first time, be attending. My first time attending it will be an experience for you okay. it will be an that experience like for awesome. you awesome the key is in celebration of national black business month you will be able to purchase the Power Couple tickets for one hundred dollars. Yes, you must purchase them by August thirty first. So wow. if you want to go online, that's great. If you happen to be on campus here and celebrating with us, bring. You, can they bring their money here? They can, can they buy a ticket here? They can buy a ticket <laughs> okay. right here. Thank you so much. Because you will be here. I will be here. And if hmm. you're in the Brandon area, you can go to Vera Casals' okay. uh, wig shop. She has, oh, which is uh, right there at the Brandon Mall. Um, she has tickets as well for those out in that area. Uh, let me let me just just say that the offer that I'm giving uh, all businesses, if you bring your business card here on Saturday, Ooh. August 31st, for thirty one dollars, the normal cost for a business card ad is seventy five dollars. But if you bring me your business card, I would prefer you actually email it so that I have the digital copy. Mm -hmm. It's thirty one dollars to advertise oh my your business. Bring it here on August 31st. I'll be here in the studio. You bring your business card, cost you $31. And you're $31. Bucks. Oh, oh, Girl. Whoop, whoop. All right. All right. See? I'm excited about that. See? I'm doing it. Me too. <laughs> and so, and Woody, and you, um, do you have a little little promo, and you'll attach that to our event going out to, today about that so that we can let all of our businesses that are coming on campus, we've got over 31 businesses coming. So what a great opportunity for them all to take advantage of that $31 special it, that you have. Awesome. I, I don't have well, we'll one, just attach but we'll the, just put something, you know, We'll, we easy. will attach it. So let's see what's coming up first. August 31st, 31 ways, 31 days. We've been sharing with you, shouting out these businesses. Bring your $31 or more. You get, DJ CEO is telling us, bring your business card. Wow. And you're going to place them in In Touch News. Absolutely. What is that, the next subscription? The, the, the September issue. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Is what the, it, it's what it'll go in. So you, oh, you I'm wanna, doing that. You want to get it out. So yes. that's our Labor Day special. So we are culminating National Black Business Month on August the 30th. What better way to shout out your labor for Absolutely. your business with a $31 ad? Yes. Yes. The caption should be the power of 31 business owners. Yes. And all of their business cards. Mm. How many business cards can fill a page? Uh, that's a good question, but it, it, it doesn't matter. <laughs> doesn't how matter many page, how many you'll add the pages. Page or pages? Yes. yes. Page or pages. Oh, that's Make that's sure that wonderful. you all heard that. Bring your business card on this Saturday. Drop it off either at the studio or we'll have a table inside. If you can have somebody at that table, we'll have a little container for them. Absolutely. I we'll like find that. DJ CEO. I'm doing that. I'm doing that. <laughs> Here's okay. the deal. And if you don't have the cash, he'll, you can do that cash app thing you right there. You can do cash app. You can do PayPal. You can do uh, uh, debit he takes card. It all. You can call me over the phone. <laughs> And of course, you know, I always, I love that. Cash. Is a great, <laughs> cash is key. That is a great special. Is a so all really of these wonderful. businesses that we've been calling out, we're going to tag you and we're going to let you know that you now have an opportunity. Let's fill the pages. Yeah, let's do it. That Not page. Bad. Let's show what $31 can do. Yeah. Open up that publication and we should be able to see pages. Well, I want to take this opportunity to thank both you, my co-host, Al Diva, Always a pleasure. Yes. And to our special guest, Mrs. Felicia yes. Murray. Fifi's Wash, Dry, and Fold. DJ CEO, thank you. We are so happy to, to be here with you. We've been celebrating. We'll come back again on Friday. We will do our wrap-up. Woohoo! <laughs> 72 hours, $31 or more. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you to our Facebook thank family. Thank you. Thank you for liking our page. Thank you for tuning in. 
We will see you on Saturday the 31st. Peace. We're out.